This is a public communication services collect call from. Hey, Steve, what do you want? An inmate at the Calumet County Jail. The use of three-way or a call rating will disconnect the call. This call will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, dial 5 now. Yeah? Yeah? What? Got $100,000 for me? Nope. What do you mean, no? Where am I going to get it from? What do you mean? What's $100,000 for? For an attorney for my son. She's got an attorney. Yeah, self-appointed one. He's a public, I mean, he's a, a, a regular lawyer. Yeah, well, I just lost him, okay? How? What do you mean, how? Because he's second cousins with Hallbox. That's why. Mm. And then they have to find another one. No. <clears throat> How can I help? I didn't admit to nothing. Why, he sure the fuck didn't do it by himself. Well, I sure let him do it. Who did it then? Huh, you got me. Where did he get all this shit from? You got me. He got it somewhere, didn't he? Yeah, where? Not from me. He didn't get shit from me. Fucking innocent goddamn kid going to prison for something. No. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Why would he admit to something he didn't do then? Where would he get it from, Stephen? Well, he surely didn't get it from me. Nothing happened over by me. Well, we'll prove that in a minute. In the garage, in the bedroom. They got it all. Yeah? They got the panel and beds and everything. The yeah. carpets and all. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they tore it apart. Yeah? In fact, I ain't even supposed to be talking to you. Why? My lawyer told me no. Why? Because you're against me. What do you expect me to think, Stephen? But he's supposed Where did Brendan get all this shit from? He's gone down for something that he would have never, ever fucking did. Oh, what about me? Why would he say this about you, then? You tell me. Hmm. You're out there with him. Not me. But you were. I and was... he was over by you that night. Yeah, for a couple hours, that's it. Brought it right before six o'clock. So you're te so you're telling me, uh, when he got off the bus, he didn't come over by you with an envelope from out of my mailbox? No. No, he did not. Then what the fuck are they trying to do? That you'd have to ask him. So my son's going to go to prison. Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Yes, he is going to. Life in prison he's going to get. And he's only 16. And what am I supposed to do? Why would he admit to some? How do I know? Well, that's what you got to figure out. Oh, how am I supposed to figure that out when he's in there and I'm out here? I'm not no fucking investigator. No, you don't go to an investigator. This means, uh, I have told you all along, keep your fucking mouth shut. I didn't say anything. You didn't say nothing. But every time with the kids... Always talking, talking. With who? With everybody. Like who? Uh, the investigators and everything else. All you have to do is say, uh, talk. I don't want to talk to you. I got a lawyer. And that's and it. And where am I supposed to come up with the money for a lawyer? They would hire the, they'd have to get a public defender. 
for the kid. No. I'm not this fault. I didn't put this in her head, in his head. You know, it was just a surprise for me. Because they put me in a hole. Why? So I could watch TV or know what was going on. They shut off the phone and put me in a hole. Both times. Yeah, I'm on channel 11. My kid's going crazy in there. Why, he call you? No, he hasn't called me at all. I talked to the attorney. Now? Yeah. So how come he don't say nothing then? What's he supposed to say? The truth. It's coming from someone. This call is from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's driving me nuts. You still there? Yeah. Oh, I never got that help. What help? When I got out of prison. That's what you're talking about now, when I got released. You know? But that ain't there. I was doing fine. No. So I don't know what to tell you. So your lawyer took the 240000 Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about your boss? What about him? Why can't he come up with it? To get him out. And how am I supposed to pay him back? Well, he'll get it back. That's just to get him out. Yeah. You know. I got I got two, three, four, five. I got five lawyers. Yeah. I just had another one join Wednesday. You know, they were just up here today. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I see Candy was there and everything. Yeah. What did she have to say? Not much. She's trying to help me. Yeah, she'd help you, not me. It's knocked me down. Now, see, you, you all the time, you always believe them. You never believe me. You believe them over me any day. Really? Yeah. And I helped you and gave you everything. I tried to teach your kids how to work on a vehicle and everything else. Then you say you hate, you hate my fucking guts. What do you expect? They took my son away. They took your son away? Yes. Well, it ain't my fault. Is it? It ain't my fault at all. It's your son's fault. Well, there would have been something bothering him. Like what? I don't know. There was something bothering him. Well, who was it over by me? Okay, put it this way. Where did the bleach come from? What bleach? The bleach all over his pants. But that was the time I washed the floor. Man, it was after your van. You know? And that was weeks ago. That wasn't that night. That night he came over. 
we had the wild fire, and he was home by 9 o'clock. Because I was in the house, because Jody called me at 9 o'clock. And I was in the house already. And there was not left to the fire. And you didn't leave that house till almost 6 o'clock. Who? You. I left here you at were, You five. and Scotty. Five o'clock we left. No. Yes. No. Yes. How? What do you mean, how? I got home. I didn't have that fire going at five o'clock. I got home from work at, what, ten to five? And Scott stopped here about, I'd have to say maybe five after five. And I hopped in his truck and I left. No, it wasn't that early. Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. No, because I didn't have no fire when I talked to Jody, and that was at 5.35 or whatever it was. And I was in the house. No, because I wasn't home long from work. Well, I was over by you after I talked to Jody or whatever. And you said you had a... You had to go with Scotty or something. I don't know. Yeah, we went to Green Bay. Yeah, you said Brendan got home at, after 10 o'clock. That's what he said. No, that's what you said. That's what you're telling everybody. No. And I said it was the time before that that you called me up at 10 o'clock or whatever. I said that I wanted Brendan home by 10. Yeah. But that was the time before that. And that's when I burned to uh, all that other shit. And the car seat. And you got Brendan uh, dragging the body out of the house. Who? Me and him. So where was the mail then? I don't know, in the mailbox. Well, where did it go then? I don't know. You never came over. Because Earl came over around that time, 4 o'clock. Him and uh, Fabian. 20 after 4. Well, I don't know if it was that late. Because he still had to go hunting. From the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. Yeah, he had to go hunting. He was gone for quite a while before he came back. Well, he said about 20 after 4 he was over by you, or 20 before, or something in that order. And you come outside with shorts and a t shirt on. Shorts and t shirt? Yeah. That's all I had on. It's and a shorts and t-shirt. And you, you stood by your truck or whatever. I was by my truck. I was by the snowmobile. When he come through. When he left and went on and he came back. I was by the truck. Yeah. Well, he didn't hear nothing. Ma was there. I sat on the golf cart for a while. And it wasn't that late. Because Ma brought me my mail. At 3, 3.30. Somewhere in there. And it was only a little while after that. Then Earl come down. So, so, uh, they're, so they're, they're pinning all this on my son. Well, that's what it looks like. An innocent, an innocent sixteen-year-old. Uh, well, I guess so. There ain't no evidence by me. And I guarantee you that there's no evidence in that trailer or in the garage. Unless he did it over by you. Who? Brendan. Did what over by me? 
would hurt. Oh, I don't see that either. Give me a break. A 16-year-old kid? Oh, well, look, watch this news sometimes. Sometimes they get younger than that. And look what he does all on a computer. What does he do on a computer? Uh, all of this is sex. Him, Blaine, Bobby, it's all sex. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. Yeah? So they look up pictures. Big deal. My own ass. They're at that age. Well, they say that's a part of our thing. What, looking at pictures? Big deal. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know See, right now, right now you're telling me... You're telling me Brendan did it. I don't know. You don't know. You just said he did. No, I didn't. I said he could have. He could have. I don't know that. If I'm at home, if I'm in the house or in the garage or out just outside, what I know? I'm in your house. Most times, your kids come home. All they do is go on the game, on the games. They yeah, mess. that's what they do. They're game freaks. That's all they are. What makes a difference? I'd rather have them home playing a game than out bumming on the streets. No. And causing trouble. No. Yeah. My kids never, ever got in trouble. Never. I didn't say that. Maybe little stuff. I didn't say that. <clears throat> but why pin it on me? He helped me when he didn't. I don't know, but I got a kid that's in in juvie for something he didn't do. Well, how can you say that? He already admitted to it. He did it. So how can you say he didn't do it? Because I know he didn't do no, it. No, you don't know that. So you're telling me uh, she came back here after he got out of school? I don't know. That I do not know. She was on your answer machine, wasn't she? Yeah. I think it was at, what, 11-something? In the morning? Yeah. Yeah. So why did... Let me ask you another question. Why did you put it underneath my name? You didn't put the last one underneath my name. When it's your vehicles, it's all underneath your name. Your vehicles are all underneath your name. My vehicles are underneath my name. Your vehicles are underneath yours. All of them. With your number on it and with my number on it. They're all like that. And why would I do something to him if uh, I'm helping you? I don't know. Well, common sense. You think I'm going to stick you in your back? I ain't doing this for my health. I'm not trying to get rid of this junk. So you get something out of it. This call is from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. I'm not worried about the stupid frickin' vehicle. Well, no, not now. But back then, so what all went wrong well now? He meant, he meant it to it. I can't change that. Just by his statement right there, he's got life. I know there ain't nothing I can do with that. There ain't nothing. Nobody can do it. Unless you know the whole thing. Now that's what the innocent project comes in. Yeah. Yeah. 
Why would he admit to something? Something he didn't do. I don't give a shit how much pressure you got. He don't do that. Now they be think they have they had put a few with the innocent projects already where people uh, testified uh, they did it. Yeah. And they got him free. And they didn't do it. But it's gonna take time now. Yeah. You're gonna talk you're talking about a couple of years. And it depends when he's gonna do a trial. What do you mean? He's going in March seventeenth. That's not for trial. I didn't say it was for trial. Yeah. That's a set of date for trial. See, they want to put him before me. Yeah, why? So they got the evidence against me then. Whatever they need to do, they got no evidence. Because there ain't nothing in my goddamn garage. A Rolly's garage. No. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If you want to minute to it, it be, it, a guy could do something. Can't you go see him? Tomorrow. Well, you go see him and you talk to him. And tell him to be straight with you. That's all I can say. Tell him to tell you the truth. Where do you get this from? And maybe you might have some grounds. But then you don't tell nobody. You just take it to the lawyer, next lawyer he gets. And make sure he tells him. Yeah. Yeah, what a statement. Screw them. I hate to say it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm going nuts here. Oh, who don't go nuts? That's why you should have stayed home with them kids more often. So you know more. Instead of fighting everybody. You know, most of the time you were talking about everybody. You're talking about me. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Hello, oh. with Carla and Stacy. What about them? They were talking about me. Yeah, see, you can't, you can't keep up, keep up. I expect everything to go your way. What do you mean, go my way? Yeah, well, you bitch him up for telling me stuff. What you tell him? I hardly talk to anybody anymore. Yeah, well, see, why? Why? Because I want the shit. I can't help that. Look at it. When Ma asks you for help. I got my own life, Stephen. You got your own life? Yeah. And now you got your own life. I've had my own life. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but he was more important than your own ma. Ma says you never call her. Yeah, well, she never calls me either. Because you're always working. You were never home. Yeah? Well, how can she call you? Somebody's going to support my kids. Who else is going to? You working? Huh? You working? Yeah. But that ain't uh, uh, all night long. You always say you got your life. Yeah, I do. Now look at it. Yeah? And I'll tell you another thing. 
they're so stuck up there, down there, they won't even help me. How can they help you? Why can't they? They were going to put up the fucking business for you. It's up for me. Yeah. Well, you can't go two things. This call was from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. How are we supposed to do that now? It could crush some cars. Do you know how many cars that would take for $250,000? That take half a yard. So, I'll tell them to call them back or whatever. But who's there? Blaine. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose. Otherwise, I ain't going to be able to afford my phone bill. Yeah. We ain't been talking too long. Huh? We ain't been talking too long. Well, you know, nothing else. The uh, only thing you can do is talk to him. What time tomorrow you have to see him? Huh? What time do you, tomorrow you have to see him? Tomorrow night. What time? 5.30. For how long? Two hours. No. Well, well, then take a paper and pencil with you. Write it down. And go from there. Then nothing else. I don't know. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow night and see what you got or what. What's that gonna do? Well, that might explain a little bit more what he trying to tell you or whatever. I don't know. All depends what he says. Where he got the information from? Where's his Where is his gun coming from? When I shot her, you know, has questions because it didn't happen over by me. Well, it didn't happen by me either. No, it didn't happen somewhere else. I could tell you some more, but I can't over the phone. I I said too much already over the phone. No. Well, just see what you can do, nothing else. If you want me to call you, let Ma know. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll have to go from there. Yeah. No. Nothing else. I can I can holler at my lawyers and see. Which way you can go. Yeah. You did have a de pretty decent lawyer, though. Yeah. Yeah. Was, Steve looked them up and everything for me. Huh? Steve looked them up for me and everything. Mm. Yeah, he did go to court and everything. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they'll have to find somebody else quick. So, probably another lawyer from Manitowoc. I don't know. So, you won't be in bad shape. Well, find out what, see what you can do. Whatever. Yeah. Or else let Ma know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay then. Yeah. All right then. All right. I love you. Yeah. Okay then. Bye. Bye.